Hey, Donna. That's good music. That's great music. It's good. I like that. Okay. Guess what you are? You are. You will be more educated, smarter than nine hundred dollars. Guess what we come with? Bro. You're sitting on his back for nine hundred dollars. In Nashville, I have no idea. What about? Young men approaching and women collaborate with efforts with Tennessee State University, our PC, and we're so proud of them. We give them your attention. Woods. Our Father in heaven, we come with thanksgiving in our house today. We thank you for what being done here today. Bless you, men and women, and we pray tribute to those who have gone on before. Bless you, bless you, young men and women, for the planning and the uniform go forward and defend our country. Bless you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Reverend Woods. Reverend Woods was the pastor of church in Collins, Tennessee for many years. He's now attached and uh, associated with the Jefferson Street Church, Baptist Church. And we want to always recognize he's also a veteran and has uh, been instrumental in many good things happening in this city. And of course, his wife, Martha Woods, raise your hand, Woods. Uh, accompanied by Steve Moore, president of the AACA. This is the 30th year that we have conducted this program. It is the oldest continuous recognition of uh, the role of black soldiers in the Southern Army history of this country. And of course, we are looking at the only statue in the entire United States of a black soldier, life-size bronze statue in the entire country. So we're proud of Nashville, we're proud of the people who are here. We ask you to stay and chat and come back many times throughout the year, not just on the day of the battle. The sign indicates over here that the Battle of Nashville occurred through that. Hey, Mother Bunsen. Thank you. First of all, I would like to say that any organization or group or business or whatever stay in business for 25 years, they need to be complimented. They must be doing something right. So I would like to congratulate Kwame and all of those who have supported him and whoever is responsible for this dedication. I would like to congratulate them from the five queen mothers. Yes, mothers are queen. All of the mothers of all of these men here 
they were queens. Otherwise, they would not have had men who could do the kind of thing that they did for us so that we could have a better life. Yesterday, I went to visit Mother Ushri, Queen Mother Ushri, who has opened up this celebration, as I said, for the last 25 years, most of the 25 years. I visited her so that I could bring a message from her. She pointed out that on occasions like this, we gather, go over the historical facts and do routines and it makes me and you who should think back and what you could or would have done five or six years ago. We always put things off until tomorrow, but tomorrow never comes. She said, I have a friend whose mother died before she had a chance to hug her because she was too busy doing other things. It is gatherings like this that bring people together that show we have a common concern that we are sharing as much as we can so that we can be honored like the man that we're honoring today. How beautiful. Ms. Arsui and I...